This lesson will show how to solve linear quadratic systems and typically the systems that you will solve will involve two equations. One of them will be linear, a straight line, and the second will be a quadratic, a parabola. There are other quadratic kinds of curves, but we're only going to talk about parabolas in this lesson. Now, these three diagrams in the top here show all the ways that a line and a parabola can exist together in a Cartesian coordinate plane on an xy axis. And the diagram on the left shows how a line could pass through and cut through the parabola in two different points. So there's one right there, and there's a second point right here. The middle diagram shows how a line might not cut through a parabola at all. So this would have no solution because there's no points in common between the line and the curve. The third diagram, the one on the far right, shows that a line might even be tangent to a curve. Tangent means that it touches the curve in just one place, so the solution to this kind of a system would be just one ordered pair. So what you're doing in each of these cases is, is finding any points that the line and the curve have in common, and then your solution is those ordered pairs, or perhaps there aren't any at all. We're going to take a look at three, three examples. The first one on this page asks where, is, where does the line y equals 3x plus 5 intersect the parabola y equals 2x squared minus x plus 5. Now points up here where the line and the curve share, points that they have in common, if you take a look at this diagram on the left, that point there, for example, both ordered pair on the parabola and on the line have the same y value, and it's, of course, true for here, true for this point here, that point that they have in common has the same y coordinate, actually has the same x coordinate as well, on both line and curve. So <clears throat> because they have the same y coordinate, the y in this line is the same as the y coordinate in this parabola. And so since y equals 3x plus 5, and in this curve y equals 2x squared minus x plus 5, we can equate the 2x squared minus x plus 5 and the 3x plus 5. Because y, the same y here equals 3x plus 5 as the same y here equals this parabola expression. Now when we equate this to 3x plus 5, we now have a quadratic equation. And there's a couple different methods for solving quadratic equations. And it doesn't matter whether you're going to factor or use the quadratic formula. In both cases, you need to rearrange the quadratic equation, make it as simple as possible, set everything on one side equal to 0. And so I would subtract 3x from both sides. So negative x subtract 3x is negative 4x. And when we subtract 5 from both sides to get a 0 on the right, then 5 minus 5 is 0 on the left as well, and there's no constant. Now, while you could use the quadratic equation to solve for x here, the simplest method, the most straightforward method, would be to factor. And there's a 2x common factor in 2x squared minus 4x, so we factor 2x out and get x minus 2 as the other factor. And since now this is in factored form, we set 2x equal to 0, and so we would get 0 because 2 times 0 is 0. And from this factor, we get 2 because 2 minus 2 that 2 right there, 2 minus 2 is also 0. Now this is not an ordered pair. This does not say that this line and this parabola intersect at the point 0, 2. This means that there's a point that has an x-coordinate of 0 that the line and curve should have in common, and there's another point that starts with an x-coordinate of 2. And so that means, if you're thinking now, that there must be two points of intersection, like in the cur the curve and line on the left diagram here, then that's true. There are two x-coordinates here, so that there's two different points of intersection between the line and the curve. Our job now is to find the y-coordinate that goes with 0 and the y-coordinate that goes with an x of 2. And so I'll take my lines equation and I'll substitute 0 in place of x. And so we will go 3 times 0 plus 5. And of course 3 times 0 is 0 plus 5 is 5. And so I put 0 in place of x, and I got 5 for my y-coordinate. So that means that the point 0, 5 is a place where this line intersects this curve. Now, I didn't have to use the lines equation here. I could have used the parabolas. If I had taken the same 0 and put in place of x here and here, 2 times 0 squared minus 0, that would all be 0, plus 5 again gives us 5. So you don't have to use the lines equation. It's just a little simpler. Now, I need to also find the y-coordinate that goes with an x-value of 2. So I'll use my line again and put 2 in place of x. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 would be 11. 
And so that means that the point 211 is the second point where the line intersects the curve. So to answer the question, where does the line intersect the curve? The line y equals 3x plus 5 intersects the parabola y equals 2x squared minus x plus 5 at the points 0, 5, and 211. Now you don't really need to reiterate the actual equations of the line and the curve. You could just say the line intersects the, the curve at the points 0, 5, and 211 if you want.